I'd like to call the meeting to order and welcome everybody to the Laverne Planning Commission February 23rd, 2021 meeting at 6 p.m. We do have a quorum. First item of business is to approve the meeting minutes from January 26, 2021 regular meeting. Entertain a motion to approve or deny. Motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, motion passes. Our first item of business, site plan, Casa de Gloria Church, requested by CEC Inc., existing warehouse on 0 0.98 acres, property located at 491 Waldron Road, tax map 17, parcel 25.03, C2 Highway Service Zoning District, property owned by JBD Properties, LLC. Mr. Logan. Thank you, and before we get started, I do wanna make an announcement about the training. So the annual training will be on Saturday, March the 6th, and starts at 8 a.m. and that'll be in this room. Thank you, so sir. I just want to remind everybody of that. Thank you. Uh, this request is for site plan approval for the Casa de Gloria Church on Waldron Road. It's located at 491 Waldron Road. And currently the property is on C2. And um, you can see here on the map, several of the properties that line up on Waldron Road are zone C2. And um, this is an existing building and uh, used to be used for office space and uh, some light industrial space. And um, you can see there's a wooded area behind the building and um, there are some parking spaces also in the back of the building. You can kind of see here in this photo. Uh, it also has these large roll up doors on the side and uh, this would be on the south side of the building. And this photo here is taken from the front and it shows some more parking area and the front entrance. And uh, several of the technical items or all of the technical items were taken care of it at the end of 2020 and um, in December and then in January of this year. So all that was remaining was the uh, architectural overlay requirements. So um, if the building, uh, buildings in Laverne that are in the overlay have to exhibit a higher level of architectural design. And so um, the planning commission had requested that the applicant um, increase the uh, level of aesthetics on the exterior of the building. So uh, over the past couple of months, they've worked on that and Two weeks ago, they submitted the materials board and it's here again tonight up at the podium. And so um, they are proposing uh, like a dry coat stucco material uh, to go over place of this existing metal that you can see here in this photo. And um, they've also submitted architectural elevations and those are included in your packets. and. Uh, of course, they were included two weeks ago as well. So you're probably getting familiar with those. Um, other than that, uh, there were not any outstanding technical comments. Um, the building is approximately 9,979 square feet. And that completes the report, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Logan. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? Just want to uh, confirm before the uh, church will be occupying the building, they will have to go ahead and get that building up to the overlay district standards. Is that correct? Okay. I know that was similar to how across, even across the street with the RV dealership yes, we had. So yeah. wanting to confirm. Mm -hmm. With that, if there's no other questions are make a motion to accept as submitted we have a motion to accept as submitted by mayor cole do we have a second i'll second second by alderman coates all in favor say aye aye, aye. all opposed motion passes thank you and i'd like to thank the church for working with us thank you very much our next item has been withdrawn this was item number two site plan dna partnership they have deferred slash withdrawn this item they're going to come back but I'd like to send a uh, condolences to the family. The applicant lost his brother this weekend, so oh. our condolences from the city on that. Our next item, 
Item number three, site plan racetrack requested by Grisham Smith, property located at 600 Waldron Road, tax map 170, group A, parcel two, and 1.01, C2 Highway Service Zoning District, property owned by Racetrack Petroleums, Inc. Mr. Logan. This is a request for site plan approval for the racetrack, which is a gas station and travel center to be built uh, at the corner of Waldron Road and Howell Quaker Boulevard here in Laverne. And this project actually received approval first at the Planning Commission in November of 2019. So um, it's going on a year and a half ago. Uh, since that time, they've made some minor changes to the design and the actual request uh, for this month at the Planning Commission is they have decided to add two fueling dispensers um, at the front canopy, and then they've reconfigured the rear layout based off of input that they've received from CAT scales and other trucking consultants. And these changes in the rear lot will allow for better turning movements for the trucks around the site. Uh, start here with the zoning. So the red color is C2, which is uh, commercial highway service. And uh, this is a look at the site plan. So um, you probably remember, but the corner uh, or nearest to the corner is the canopy for cars and autos. And then in the rear part of the property uh, will be the fueling area for heavy trucks. And um, the convenience and retail part, uh, the actual retail building is 8,100 square feet. And um, like I said, this received approval in November of 19 and um, the, the general layout has not changed greatly since that time, but they have made uh, these changes that, that they've asked for tonight, including adding fuel dispensers to uh, the front canopy. Um, it's a close up of the site plan. Uh, so you can see the ingress egress there uh, at the corner of Howell Quaker and Walden Road. And then this is a look at the rear part of the property where the tractor trailers would fuel or refuel. Mr. Logan. I think that's there you go. That's the new yeah, that's the new that's side the, plan. There's Thank the you, new Mr. one, Logan. sorry. Okay. Yeah, I've got the old in here and the new. So that's the old. And then this is the new. Um so one of the comments from the workshop two weeks ago was the lack of truck parking, um, which staff had identified and uh, as a, a possible issue. Um, another look at the layout. And then these are the architectural elevations and uh, these have been consistent since the end of 2019, so they've not changed the elevations. And this, this is what was approved back in 2019. And then, of course, y'all are probably very familiar by now, this is a strip retail center um, that will actually be torn down and uh, it contains uh, several tenants, including the insurance office and I think there's some kind of convenience store. That's a, uh, brick building and one story. So that will be demolished along with the second building in the rear um, at the time that construction commences on the project. Uh, there were no uh, exceptional comments being that this is um, fairly minor change to the original site plan. So there's no technical comments and uh, that completes the report, thanks. Thank you very much, sir. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? For the applicant? I've got one, just a minor one. Okay. Applicant? For the applicant, yes. Would, the app would you please come to the podium, state your name and address for the record, sir. Good evening, members of the board. Victor Sudapaha, Racetrack Petroleum, 200 Galleria Parkway, Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you, sir. Mayor Cole? Just had a quick question in regards to the market. Is the, uh, I, I know at one point it was discussed that it would be a market and restaurant. Is that still the plan, or is it just going to be a straight market now for the uh, the actual what's labeled as mar racetrack market 
this is going to be this is the an EDO building, so it's going to be a market, um, and I'm we're putting a little bit of re restaurant in it. Yeah, some off. It won't, it's not a full restaurant, but there'll be some pizza okay. and fresh water stuff. So okay, so it's something that that like the truckers when they're getting gas, they can just walk over, get their stuff, and go back. Yes, sir. It's not going to be something where they're sitting down eating. Okay, thank you. And as Mr. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Logan had mentioned, you know, the reason why we made the change. We talked to a couple of trucking um, consultants and spot safety just to make sure that we have a longer queue in the parking lot and to maneuver around the site and we sacrifice some parking just to make sure that the site is safe very good thank you sir any other questions or comments for the applicant if not we'll entertain a motion i make a motion to accept as submitted we have a motion to accept as submitted by mayor cole we have a second a second second by mr holderman coates all in favor say aye Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next item. Item number four, concept plan, High Point 24, requested by Kimley Horn. S seven building warehouse and distribution park on 144 acres, property located on Blair Road, tax map 29, parcels 20, 20.02, 20 20.03, and 20.05. I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by John M. Burns, Roy L. Waldron, City of Laverne, and Crown Castle GT Company, LLC. Um, Mr. Logan. I believe this is now a deferral, Mr. Yes. Chairman. Yes, sir. That will move on to item number five. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think the applicants. Oh, the yeah, please, thank you. Yeah, Brendan Bowles with Kimberly Horn Associates, 214 Oceanside Drive. Wanted to have the opportunity to uh, address the board just for a quick minute, if I may. I also have some exhibits, if I could pass out. Please. Get these. I think you know, last time we had met, we had talked a lot about the, the access to the site and just wanted to pass out a few things. Um, I have to share with Bo. I don't know how many I have here. When I will share with, mm. with Mr. Rutledge. Sure. Yeah, my name is for everybody. Spent a lot of time talking about the access onto Blair Road. So these are just a couple of different things that we had batted around and talked about in the last meeting. So these are three options on the first sheet that we looked at. Um, if I had a, a big red pen, I would just mark through option two pretty quickly because that's the, uh, it's just a very difficult uh, turning movement, movement for somebody exiting. You can't see over your right shoulder and it's just an awkward movement. Uh, option three, I think has some, has some merit to it. Allows the, the trucks and traffic to come directly in. Uh, off Blair Road, it, it is awkward for somebody traveling, I guess that's north on Blair, to, to make a left into the site if the far lane is the entry lane only. Uh, we could make the, the first driveway and in, in and out, you know, like that, and, and that would help free that one up some. Uh, ultimately, we did go with option one, just that standard T intersection. Drivers are more accustomed to that type of uh, intersection and, and it just it made more sense to us and our traffic engineers. So the second page is, is really an improved option one, which shows a 50 foot wide driveway at the entry, uh, a 60 foot radius return um, coming into the property and then a 25 foot radius return exiting really to try and uh, prohibit trucks from making that right hand turn. Um, but this does allow plenty of room for trucks to make the movement. We, we increase the uh right hand decel lane coming into the park made it wider made it longer made the taper longer and we think this will really get the trucks out of the road and get back into the into the park um and while also limiting uh the trucks to be able to make that right turn we also there were some discussions about the bridge possibly right there on blair that i don't know if y'all went out to take a look at it there is no bridge there it's it's actually just two pipes corrugated metal pipes there we're willing to widen that just that little portion of the road there maybe about four feet or so on our side um, 
you know, certainly want a school bus and a passenger car to be able to pass there. And we'll extend those culverts on our side of the road. But what we don't want to do is continue to widen the road on Blair to make it attractive for trucks to make that turn and go. We don't want trucks going down Blair. You know, we'll probably put three or four signs as people are leaving the park here, you know, no, no right turns for trucks and put one at the stop. So they'll see that. Um, and then just limiting that radius. We talked about maybe getting some big, large boulders, you know, stacking them right there next to the curb. So the trucks can't make that right and, and jump the curb, if you will. I mean, a six inch curb is not gonna prohibit a truck, but a, a large boulder would. Uh, and so that's where we are. We understand there was, you know, some conversations um, with, with Panettone and, and, and looking at some other options for another connection point to this site. We're willing to, you know, go ahead and defer tonight so those, some of those conversations can continue. But, you know, we're con concerned about timing of our project. And, you know, if we were able to fit another roadway in that led back up to the northwest, I don't know if you got an overall, if anybody has an overall plan. Um, Just to look at, I have, let's see here. Plan. I've got it. Let's see here. That was it. You went, when you hit the zoning. Do you want to just see yours? <clears throat> that, I mean, that's fine right there. So some of the conversations about having a, basically a frontage road along I-24 that got, gets back up into Laverne. Um, what's the name of that other road, Jeff? Charter place where there's some industrial park or development now. One, we don't control the right of way uh, to do that. But you know, if you imagine squeaking a or putting a 60 foot road or right of way in between what is building 700 and the interstate 700 is the furthest one at the top of the page, and that building would have to push back further into the hill and get closer to the water tank and and more excavation, more blasting, closer to the tank that we're not really comfortable, you know, doing, uh, but just logistically and physically how you would make that connection, I guess, is our concern, but we're certainly willing to defer and have those conversations continue. Very good. Um, so we're going to bring it back to workshop. We're going to talk about it a little more. Thank you for looking at this a little closer for us. I do appreciate it. I'd like to come in a little bit just while they're here. I'd spoken the applicant and obviously at the workshop I could see this board was not happy with the access on to Blair Road. So I was just open up for ideas of there are potentially some um, funding from the state that's possible um, by capital expenditures, uh, how many jobs are going to be placed, the location and the history of the applicant. So the state has, has listened a little bit and they're a little intrigued and I think between the city and the applicant if we can work together on this we may come up with a different solution that, that fits everybody's uh, ideas. Yeah, very good. <clears throat> Please, Mayor Call. And just to piggyback off that, Alderman Coates has got some great ideas. I think trying to get that, that tractor trailer traffic off of Blair would be ideal for the surrounding communities because we already see, we, we, we love Penn and Tony. We love the, all the businesses they brought in, but we've seen where even in the residential areas, those tractor trailers will drift down into some of the just a two-lane road that's not really meant for tractor trailers and they get stuck i think right now we're looking at three to four every week in uh over by september in cherokee and mason mm -hmm. and it's just trying to find something that works best for the whole community and so uh i want to thank the, the the company and the engineer for working with us on giving us a little bit of time to work on finding a better solution excellent yeah acknowledged um i guess just i'm not sure if we need to come back to another workshop works workshop or would we come back to the planning commission meeting um so you deferral you'll come back to workshop and we'll discuss it again like we did two weeks ago okay. and then hopefully get everything ironed out so to say that sounds good and i believe you know i think we'll just defer the, the next item as well okay then go ahead and defer it as well then we will see you at workshop and uh once again thank you very much for the open-mindedness on that intersection. Yeah. It's very hard for a school bus and a car to pass right there. Yeah, so. yeah. The, we want it to be, you know, uh, a good situation for everybody, including, you know, the, the people who may work here that live in, uh, live here in, the, in Laverne that would come in on Blair and turn in to go to the park to work every day. And we want that to be a safe and, and welcoming, you know, drive. Thank you very much, gentlemen. 
that we, we will be deferring item number five as well. And moving on to item number six. Set bond amount for Lieutenant Frank Walkup subdivision, phase two, tax map 14, PO parcel 24.13, requested by Womble and Associates, R1 low de density residential zoning district. Mr. Logan. Thank you. Uh, this is a request um, for, uh, to set the bond amount for the Lieutenant Frank Walkup subdivision, phase two, and uh, it, it is zoned R1 low density residential. Um, Womble and Associates on behalf of their client is requesting that the Planning Commission set the bond amount for these improvements in Lieutenant Frank Walkup subdivision. And um, this area consists of approximately 23 lots. Per the subdivision regulations, the developer has submitted three construction bids, an average plus the required 20% contingency and a stamped estimate provided by the engineer. Bids are from J.B. Rollins Contracting, Gibbs Brothers Construction, and Four Star Paving. And the engineer's estimate comes to $55,000 total. Thanks. Conclude your report, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, any questions or comments from the board? There's a technical item oh. listed on here. Yes, sir. Mr. Leach, I believe it's in blue, so that'd be you, sir. So uh, I believe there's one contractor that's semi-notorious for not signing. Yes, sir. Um, that's just a general caveat that they won't sign, but other than that, they're fine. Very good, sir. With that, we will entertain a motion if there's no further questions. Make a motion to accept the bid as submitted. I have a motion to accept the fee as submitted by Alderman Coates. We have a second. Our second. We have a second by Mayor Cole. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. And our final item is item number seven, bonds and letters of credit. Mr. Leach. Uh, Mr. Chairman, planning commissioners, uh, you will notice that it has changed quite a bit. We've cleaned up several uh, Lakewoods, of course, has went into maintenance bonds since we were finally able to get the check back to Mr. Shreveman. Uh, you will see that Crothers Crossing phase one has submitted their bond to the city uh, so we've signed off on that and they're going to be able to start pulling permits on that soon uh, well of course some of the numbers aren't exactly right because our road impact fees have changed and uh, the lot number total didn't update apparently when I updated this but uh, we'll note there's a uh, you know not a ton of lots out there right now so it's one of those general commentary type things but other than that we're rolling right along very good thank you much any questions or comments from the board right. thank you everyone meeting adjourned